Oliver, it's hard to imagine reason to get too excited about a smallish company that sells package tours to Europeans. But somebody's excited today. Thomas Cook's stock is up 20%. It is. Uh, so it's a deal that Thomas Cook has signed with Fosun. This is a big Chinese conglomerate. And mm. there's several strands to the deal uh, which have helped the share price move forward. Uh, most notably, Fosun has bought 5% of Thomas Cook and says it's going to buy another 5%, so 10% holding in all. There will also be various elements of cooperation between the two companies, potentially in the long term. There will be more Chinese tourists coming to, to Thomas Cook's holidays in, in Europe. There will be cooperation between uh, Thomas Cook and some of Fosun's existing businesses, and there'll also be a, an investment venture whereby Fosun will, will buy some of the hotels that Thomas Cook already operates. So a sort of multi-layered deal that's driven the, the share price up. But it doesn't, it doesn't sound like all of that adds up to 20%. No. The, the, the big reason, I think, is this, is this stake that it's bought 5% rising mm. to 10%, and the hope that maybe this is the start of, of things to come and that Fosun will eventually go on and by the whole of Thomas Cook. And now, is Fosun the kind of aggressive buyer who might go in for that? It has been a buyer in the past. It, it bought just uh, earlier this year, it sealed a deal for um, Club Med, the mm. French holiday operator. This has been a very long running takeover battle that's uh, gone on through all of last year and more. And, and, and eventually the Chinese company Fosun beat off um, an, a European venture capital business. Uh, so the. Um, there is a track record there. That said, Fosun has said today that it doesn't want to own more than 10% of Thomas Cook. Well, this all sounds like good news for Thomas Cook, a major partner from China, which is something a, any European consumer services company would be very pleased to have, a little merger speculation, and uh, the partner actually has a history of buying businesses like Thomas Cook. Yeah, it all sounds marvelous, but uh, as with a lot of holidays, there's a little tinge of something, some sort of worry in the background, something yes. in the back of your mind gnawing away. And with this, I'd say it's, it's the worry for Thomas Cook shareholders that maybe their interests and Fosun's interests won't always be the same. Mm. But Fosun has its own portfolio of companies and will have its own priorities for what it wants out of Thomas Cook. They won't necessarily align with what other shareholders might want to uh, Thomas Cook. And by buying this 10% stake and by setting up this venture to own some of the, the hotels that Thomas Cook operates, Fosun has given it some leverage over, uh, over Thomas Cook. And you just wonder if there might be some scope for conflict in the future. Perhaps not a day at the beach then. Thanks, Oliver.